Hi guys and welcome back to Skyline Scales. This time we've got a little bit of a treat. So this week we're gonna go over the red spotted toad. Now this is fun because just recently my family and I have gone camping and we found a breeding pond of red spotted toads. We're compiling the video footage for that and we can't wait to show it to you. But for now, let's go over what a red spotted toad actually is. For those of you that don't know, the red spotted toad is a small desert dwelling toad. It ranges from one and a half inches to three inches, depending upon how old the toad actually is. And this is kind of a flatter bodied toad. It's got a brown to gray hue to it and it's covered in red spots all over. Hence the name red spotted toad. Now these guys actually have rather large paratoid glands right behind their eyes that are about equal size to their eyes as well. These guys have a rather large range. They go from California to the east side of Texas and the southern part of Utah all the way down to mid-Mexico. Now they will dwell in deserts. They go anywhere from sea level to up to 7,000 feet in elevation and they are going to live in rocky outcroppings but they can also be found in shrublands and woodlands and sometimes even in cattle troughs. They want to look for a water source and this water source can be permanent or temporary like the frogs that we found that had their own temporary water source. And when the breeding occurs, it starts with the males. The males are going to hop out of their rocky outcropping. They're going to find a nice good body of water that seems stable enough and they're going to start calling for the females. It's a high trilling call that sounds a lot like a super fast cricket, like a cricket that just drank three Mountain Dews and is hyped up on caffeine. And when they do this call, it tells the females to hop down out of their caves and find the males. The males say how tough and buff he is with his call and the female can select from the males from there. The males will defend their territories, however, the breeding pond we found had a lot of males in it. And this mating season is going to occur from March to June. Now, most of the time it doesn't start until later May. This is usually cued on by the rains. Of course, they love the rains, they love the water, it helps with breeding. Once a male and a female has paired up, they do amplexus. Most frogs lay a clump of eggs or a string of eggs. These toads, not frogs, sorry about that. These toads lay a single egg at a time and none of them are attached. All of them will float to the bottom of the pool and this is external fertilization, so it's an egg and a sperm and they connect and float down to the bottom and BAM! A frog! And it's pretty much that fast because the eggs will then hatch somewhere between 24 to 48 hours, some of them hatching within three hours of fertilization, which is insane! And then the metamorphose is so fast as well. The frogs will turn from tadpoles into adult frogs in six to eight weeks. And here's another cool part is if the water levels are getting low because it's a temporary breeding pond, the tadpoles can tell this and they will speed up the process of metamorphosis and it won't take as long, which is incredible. It's so fun that they can do that. So if you guys couldn't predict by now, these frogs are nocturnal. They live in the desert, so they don't want to be out in the heat. Oddly enough, they do have relatively dry skin though, but to avoid the heat, they're gonna hide in these rocky crevices that they love so much, which I found that pretty interesting too, because I would have expected them to burrow underground. Instead, they prefer their rocky outcroppings where they will hide from the sun and then they come out at dusk and do their thing. Find some food, find some water, maybe find a girlfriend. Now, the way you tell male from female, well, the easiest way, is to tell by the color of their throat. Now, the males are gonna have a much darker throat. As said before, they have the paratoid glands, I hope I'm saying that right, that rest right behind their eyes. They're similar size to the eyes. And this is how they produce their frog. This is how they produce their toad toxin. And this toxin is not harmful to humans. It's said that it tastes bitter, but please do not eat the toads. It is so wrong for so many different reasons. You're not gonna get anything out of it. <laughs> and it's gonna hurt the frog, and it's gonna taste bad, and why? <laughs> Anyways, don't eat the frogs. Also, don't let your pets eat the frogs. It's said that it can make smaller animals like dogs and cats froth from the mouth, which I'd find that rather unsettling. Alrighty, and that just about does it for us, guys. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, comment below on videos you want to see in the future, what you think we can do more on, and we can't wait to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.